you're a first time homeowner, chances are this is also going to be the first time you've ever changed your HVAC filter. Or maybe you've moved into a new home with a different type of furnace or HVAC unit than you've seen before. In either case, you're going to need to know which size, type, and rating of filter you need for your home's HVAC system. Here's what to do. First, figure out what size filter you need. Getting the right size air filter is essential for efficiency. If the filter is too large, it won't fit in the slot in your unit's opening. Too small, and it won't catch all the debris and air impurities it's supposed to be filtering out. You'll need to measure the length, width, and thickness, typically denoted, for example, like this. You'll likely find the measurement printed somewhere on the frame of the air filter you're replacing. Standard filters are one to two inches thick, but you can find thicker options that are three to six inches thick. But not all HVAC systems can handle thicker filters, so Google your unit's manufacturer and model and check the manual if you have it. But for our purposes here, if the filter fits snugly in your furnace's opening, that's a good start. Now determine what MERV rating is best for your unit and your household. MERV, or the Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value, assigns a rating to how well your filter removes particles on a scale from 1 to 16. The higher the number, the better a product filters your indoor air. But that doesn't mean you should just get a filter with a MERV rating of 16, because the higher the filtration capacity, the harder your unit has to work to push air through, reducing energy efficiency and shortening the life of your HVAC unit. Generally speaking, a filter with a MERV rating of at least 13 is recommended, provided your system can handle it. Again, check your manual. And finally, consider the type of material your filter is made out of. Filter material types include fiberglass, cotton, polyester, electrostatic, polypropylene, and others. Fiberglass are the cheapest, but also typically the least effective. Electrostatic use static electricity to attract contaminants. Washable filters can be reused, but are typically less efficient than disposable ones. And HEPA filters remove 99.97% of all particulate matter from the air, but are more expensive, highly restrictive of airflow, and broadly speaking, unnecessary in the average household. The most common type are pleated cotton and polyester filters, which are affordable and effective in trapping crud in their folds. This is the type you'll probably want to get, depending of course on your needs and preferences. Now that you've filtered through your options, be sure to take note of the size, material, and rating of the filter you've selected, because you're gonna to need to do this again three months from now. Then three months after that, three months after that, and three months after I think they get it.